Hi, it's Kathy Ann Lewis, and it's Facelift Day. In the middle of the middle, this is what I've always thought of. It, not quite the middle, but I've always thought of the week between Christmas and New Year's as an in-between time, a time of its own. A wild time where it's not quite an end and not quite a beginning. And it's a time of planning and... and uh, Wondering how you might want to recreate yourself. I think it's potent. Oh, it's just so powerful. I've loved this time forever. I've loved this time. And I'm really grateful that I now have spiritual tools to make better use of this time, which is what I will be facilitating and promoting at the Center for Spiritual Living in Seattle all through January. Oh, starting with December 31st. But that's, yeah, that's my advertisement. I'm done. That was my advertisement. But I want to just share some ideas that might get you started. One idea is something that showed up for me mm, at the end of 1992 during the in-between times. So this is sort of an anniversary of sorts. Oh my goodness, it is an anniversary of sorts. Anyway, the in-between time in 1992... I asked myself, prompted by something, prompted by something I read, prompted by something I heard, prompted by something someone told me, how would you live if you only had six months to live? And I immediately thought, oh, I'd travel. I'd see this beautiful world as much as I could. I, I would travel. And I didn't even have a passport and didn't feel comfortable traveling. and. The only thing I'd really seen much of is the Northwest, which is Oregon and Washington. I mean, that was my that was my travel history. So I let it go. And then the very first month, maybe even the first few weeks of 1993, a friend asked me if I'd like to go to Russia with her for a very low price. It was almost like ridiculously easy to, to take to take up that offer. So my first trip out of the country was to Russia. <laughs> and, and this was with a person I hardly knew, but we knew each other really well after three weeks in Russia. So I know the power of intentions because it was an intention. It's not something I planned. It's not something that I worked at. It's not something that I had some sort of, okay, I'll do this and I'll do this and I'll do this and I'll do this. An intention is so much different than a New Year's resolution and it's so much different than a plan or a, or a obligation. Intention is something that's alive because it comes from your heart, it comes from your soul. And all we have to do is nurture it through our spiritual practice. I'll be talking about this. So what would your intention be? I mean, to ask yourself what you would do if you had a small amount of time will really bring up the things that might be left undone. I've heard from people who've had near-death experiences and also from people who have... <laughs> are talking before their death experience that they don't regret too much what they did as much as they regretted what they didn't do. What are you called to do? To have, to be. I want to say one more thing. So this is a this is like a, a real full meal deal for the faith lift. Our theme for 2023 is live out loud. And I picked it not only because it sounded good, but also it was suggested by our home office. But I, they've suggested a lot of things that I never went with. But it sounded good. And I realized today why it might be important. Because I think so many of us grew up being told to dummy down our unique, beautiful, expressive, creative self. We, we don't really get into the spirit of a thing. I know I don't get into the spirit of a thing so often. I remember getting good grades and then at the bottom of my report card would be these little notes from my teacher saying, you know, Kathy Ann really does talk a lot in class. 
Now she didn't say, or they were always female teachers, she didn't say I was disrespectful or I was disruptive or I was creating chaos. I was just talking too much. Hmm. What were you told? How did you pull back to fit in? We pull back to fit in. Well, I want to break out of that. That's my intention in 2023, and I invite you to join me. <laughs> so those are my thoughts for right now, my dears. Listen to your heart. Believe in the power of intentions. And join me in living out loud. Bye for now. May I suggest, may, may I suggest to you, may I suggest this is the best part of your life. May I suggest this time is blessed for you. This time is blessed and shining, almost blinding bright. Just turn your head and you'll begin to see the thousand reasons that were just beyond your sight. The reasons why, why I suggest to you why I suggest this is the best part of your life. There is a world that's been expressed to you, that's been expressed to you intended for your eyes. A secret world, a treasure chest for you, a private scenes and brilliant dreams mesmerized. A tender lover's smile, a tiny baby's hands, the million stars that fill the turning sky at night. Oh, I suggest, yes, I suggest to you, yes, I suggest this is the best part of your life. There is a hope that's been expressed in you, the hope of seven generations, maybe more. This is the faith that they invest in you, is that you'll do one better than was done before. Inside you know, inside you understand, inside you know what's yours to finally set right. And I suggest, and I suggest to you, and I suggest this is the best part of your life. This is a song comes from the West to you. Comes from the West, comes from the slowly setting sun. This is a song with a request of you to see how very short the endless days will run. And when they're gone, and when the dark descends, we give anything for one more hour of light. May I suggest this is the best part.